GTD or Getting Things Done is a system that was developed by David Allen in the 1990s and it's really evolved into becoming a modern day and timeless system that many people still use. There are lots of different to-do list apps, note-taking apps and calendar apps that adopt to this methodology. And in today's video, we're taking a look at some GTD based note-taking applications that you might want to consider if you're thinking of using the system or you already use it and want to continue to incorporate it in your daily life. Hello folks, my name is Francesco. I'm excited to dive into these GTD note-taking apps, but if you're in the hunt for any type of productivity app, we have a new site called Tool Finder, which will help you find the best productivity tool. You can search for a wide variety of tools, including the recommended ones in this video, which will link in the description below. So with all that aside, let's dive into these GTD note-taking applications and why they're so good for the system. Now, I know many people might know this if they're starting out with GTD, but there are sort of five processes to GTD, starting from capture all the way to engage. And it's all about being able to capture stuff in an organized fashion, and then be able to organize it and process it to understand what it means, and then to be able to review it and get it actually done. And that can mean tasks, that can mean notes, but it also can mean events. But the key premise of this is quality capture abilities and great ways to organize and even to get it done or to move it forward towards getting it done. So we've based our note-taking apps based on that criteria. So the first of these GTD note-taking applications is Evernote. And we've talked about Evernote for several years and it's really been going through some tumultuous times, but Evernote is one of the original GTD-like applications for note-taking. And whilst it may be a little bit unstable at the moment in with its development, it is actually a really good note-taking application because of the web clipper and some of the great extensions they have on the Mac app and iOS apps in particular that allow you to capture stuff really fast. Whether that's audio, images, documents or other items, GTD promotes capturing stuff fast and get it into your system. Now once it's in your system, Evernote does a good job of allowing you to set up systems in there like an inbox so that you can process it for later and organize it into the right location. And then they do have some more modern features like tasks and calendar, which help you to action some of the notes that you may have captured down earlier on. Now, including the likes of the document scanner, Evernote does have some great abilities with audio and also with uh, being able to capture files, documents, and you can also import in, in premium via email as well, which is a feature that a lot of people like so they don't have to constantly drag stuff into their Evernote account. So Evernote, a great GTD note ticket application, probably an all-rounder if you're looking at the selection of apps. Next up is Mem. Now, just a disclaimer, we are an investor in Mem, but this doesn't change our opinion on the application. We really do want to recommend you the best one. But Mem is a nice capture abilities in terms of the spotlight function that it has. You can use the Mac app and naturally the Windows app to actually capture stuff quite fast using that capture function. And you can actually add to existing notes it or mems that you already have created. But in itself, mem goes a little bit different direction with GTD because it actually doesn't have any folders. And this was a sort of against GTD in a way, but sort of for GTD because it doesn't have any folders it organizes it based on tags automatically using artificial intelligence. So you're sort of going against GTD there, but in a way you aren't because it's helping you to organizing and maybe even removing a step of the GTD process for you. And resurfacing stuff can be quite easy because you can use some of the more recent AI technology pieces in there that can help you do it. Mem is a strange one because it's not really got a place in the market yet, but there are some features here that actually really uh, aligned to the likes of GTD that you could potentially jump onto if you're looking for a GTD app. Next up is Nimbus Notes. Now, Nimbus is one of these applications that looks super like Evernote, and it has some great abilities, including the likes of a, what a lot of Evernote have is the web clipper and some of the emailing in abilities too. But Nimbus Notes has a nice feature for, if you upgrade to their pro account, it allows you to actually uh, record um, your screen or your video and be able to import that into your Nimbus account. 
But Nimbus is a really interesting application because it structures it very much like Evernote without the tasks and calendar, and it's much more of a traditional type of note-taking application that a lot of people like. Next up is Notion. Notion can be adapted and changed to the experience that you want, really. It's very much a great way to capture, and there are so many different applications and extensions that take on board uh, the likes of Notion. More recently, Readwise, if you have an article you want to capture, you can actually bring that and import that into Notion directly using the Readwise extension. So there are so many great integrations that Notion can really connect up with uh, for making GD possible. It's got a web clipper and it also has great ways to capture stuff in databases as well as new quick add abilities which will get you instantly adding stuff there. There's also some great widgets out there that allow you to quickly add stuff to certain notebooks just from your iOS and Android home screens which is a nice addition. Notion is a really flexible application and for GTD you can really create a system. There's actually even templates that people actually offer that help you to just implement the system straight away into whatever you're using in Notion. Now my final final recommendation in the article was actually Obsidian, but I've sort of changed my mind more recently on this because Ample Note is a fantastic example of a more traditional note-taking application that might map better to something like GTD. And the application is really neat because you can capture stuff in there, but it also spans the likes of tasks, calendar, and notes, and that's really nice. In particular, if you wanted to add a task and be able to organize it for later, when you start organizing the task, defining what pro project it's part of, the duration, the values that may build up a task, it actually creates something called a task score, which is a nice ability to be able to judge tasks within your notes and give them more context. It's something that is definitely promoted in the GTD concept. And the calendar function helps you to get it much more active and slip it into your daily routine. Now, Obsidian is a really good application in terms of being able to capture based in Markdown. And there are loads of plugins and extensions that can really help you to evolve into a GTD-based system. But the application itself, Ample Note, I would say is probably slightly more GTD-esque than something like Obsidian is. Although you can definitely take advantage of the bi-directional linking inside of Obsidian to connect your notes up and really improve that review and do as part of the process. So what one's best for your GTD? I'd say Evernote's a great all-rounder. I would say the likes of Mem is a much more modern approach to GTD that could be implemented with AI. And apps like Nimbus and AmpleNote are probably much more traditional in a sense. Whilst Notion, I would say, is again a happy medium that isn't so traditional, but not as modern as something like Mem. So I hope you enjoyed this feature of Keep Productive. I almost forgot our name then. <laughs> and uh, I really hope you enjoyed uh, what we covered here in today's video. And um, if you're interested in finding any of the tools that we mentioned or any of the tools in note taking, we've got them all on Tool Finder for you to discover. So thank you very much. I'm sure I'll see you in a future video. Thank you very much, folks, and a cheerio.